Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that we will be in Las Vegas this May 3rd through the 5th for LS Fest West. Me, James Cooper, Ruby, and Leroy will be there. We'll even be hosting our own burnout contest on Friday and Saturday. We'll be giving out 2,500 bucks in each burnout contest. I'll put a link below where you can find out all the information about LS Fest West, but definitely come out. It's going to be a blast. We'll be in Vegas all weekend racing and doing our normal shenanigans. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. What's up guys? As you can see, we have the Dale truck out behind me. That's because the Boosted Boys are still in town and they have the Cole truck here. So it only made sense that we get the Dale truck out so we can cruise to lunch with the Boosted Boys and their NASCAR truck that has a K series in it. So we pulled old Dale off the rack and we're gonna cruise him around today. Gotta say he is looking beautiful and he does have his nitrous system on him, but it's not set up yet. We gotta hop on the dyno this week and hopefully get them all tuned up on the nitrous. Let's see, we got the old PFI speed truck here. This thing is so freaking epic. Can we pop the hood on this bad girl? So it's got a Jericho transmission, right? Yeah, Jericho four speed. Wow, what a ripper. So it's a K24 or K20 or? K24. K24. Woo! <laughs> I like how you kept it naturally aspirated. Spirit of the build. Spirit of the build, that's oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh, I like this. Start there. That holds the hood up? <laughs> yeah. Freaking awesome. I love it's, how the exhaust runs all the way to where a normal NASCAR truck would, yeah. would dump. Hell yeah. And we're going to get barbecue because we're true Americans and this is, you know, just an American filled day. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so different. You'd never expect to hear that when this thing starts. <laughs> it's like the last thing you expect to hear. What? <laughs> yeah. <right. Some idle. NASCAR Ricers out here. Two step in. Oh my god. mirrors either so rad, the man. no mirror life too yeah i was like yeah. man this thing's hard as hell to park I got, I got an Woo! yeah you gotta turn around hell yeah brother that was wild. made it how fun was that dude it was so cool dude it's so sick just watching so us sick. cruise <laughs> yeah. you should move the wagon over cooper's putting the wagon in the line squadding out. out all right well let's go get some barbecue can this thing do a burnout <laughs> come on they're following me. Dude, these coke trucks are following Brent. It's getting crazy. That's a nice car you got there. Hey, I was about to say, that's a nice car you got there, there too, nice brother. <laughs> we got a lot of nice cars yeah, around all here. All the nice cars around here. All right, back to the shop we go. <laughs> Dude, the fact that the Boosted Boys and Cletus just went on a cruise and didn't break so, down. Yeah. Is a, oh, that's a miracle <laughs> in and of itself. All right, guys, so we're thinking the Boosted Boys are in town and we've got a track rental tomorrow. So what we're doing right now, we've found a Craigslist deal on a Mustang. We're gonna go buy it and we're gonna see which team can drive this thing the fastest. So we're having a 4v4 battle. We're gonna average the ETs between their four drivers and our four drivers. We're gonna have Jeremy with us and find out, you know, Boosted Boys versus McFarland, but we need the right car. And there's nothing better than a rear wheel drive stick shift car to test something like this. Even though those guys do do front wheel drive a lot, I'll, I'll let them use that as an excuse, I guess, a little bit. But this thing's gonna be on street tires, very slow car. Most of the ET is gonna come down to not missing a gear, not spinning the tires, or not bogging the car. So it should be a blast. And Brent's had, you know, rear wheel drive cars. I know Emilio has. And so we're going to get this Mustang right now. I never thought I'd buy a Mustang, but shoot. Here we are, we're going Mustang deep on them. We're trying to get this thing for 1500 bucks. We'll see what kind of shape it's in, but it's probably pretty rough. All right, all right. 
How many miles are on this rig? Uh, about 157. 157? Yeah, you're good. Oh, man, look at that shifter. It's got a B&M knob on it. Got a lot of gold in there it's not bad. Can I, uh, do you know how good the clutch is? Is it in decent shape? It's good. It's, you know how these clutches are, man. You got like kind of double clutches. Sometimes does does it ever slip? No. Does okay, it slip? cool. Can I fire it up? Yeah. Pops it Ready? Oh, this thing runs good. Oh, dude, this is a this is a buyer right here. This thing is nice. Damn, brother, it's actually pretty clean. Stock. Yeah, it's kind of what we want. We'll clean the air filter for sure. And are these Cobra wheels? Yeah, replica. Yeah. Replicas. Yeah, the fronts rubble a little bit, but you turn all the way to right or left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not bad, not bad. What's your uh, what's your professional take on her there, James? It sounded good when he fired it up, nice yeah. and clean. Though. Nice and clean, yeah. Enough. Oh, okay. It's a uh, it's a cable driven clutch, clutch pedal, yeah. so it feels a lot different. That's how these cars are. It's weird. It is very low on fuel. <laughs> I saw that. Oh. ourselves a Mustang from the looks of it. Yeah. No. All right, guys, you heard it here first. This thing will be running eights in a couple weeks. No, <laughs> I am not modding this. I am not modifying this Mustang. Put it on the record. All right, we'll come back to this clip in a couple weeks. Okay, nitrous only. I, they might get nitrous, but that's it. That 8.8 eight diff too, she's stout back there. Wow. Okay. Did scratch a second. Pretty hard there. But yeah. Well, what was that? The transmission feels good. At least it's a V8. You know, yeah. we were looking for anything with a V6 or anything. This this worked out. Found a deal. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh wow. Good spin them. Hey, we got ourselves a bogger. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three of Driving Underwater, where we finally are gonna make it across the pond. I have no doubt in my mind today that we are going to make this happen. Here, just a couple of minutes ago, we had to start taking apart the distributor again. Oh, wow. You see that the, the pickup comes through the bottom yeah. side, and we yeah, never the plug sealed right there. That. Yeah, so yep. it's sealed all around the pickup to the case. Yep. In hopes now that the bottom side of the the top side was dry. The bottom yeah. side's what got wet. So the cap was sealed up perfectly. You know how we remember how we freaking just silicone the hell out of it last time. The cap sealed, but there was actually water coming in from the plug below. So when we went into the water, yes, we did in fact roll the car, and that was kind of the demise of the whole situation. But the car wouldn't start back up afterwards, and it should have, right? So it wasn't hydrolog, nothing like that, but it wouldn't start. The timing was having problems. Well, water had leaked into our distributor from a part that we didn't think possible. So now we have it totally sealed up and we feel as though the tracker is more ready than ever to go bog deep. I am pretty ready to go across that pond. Yeah, I mean. I've never even set foot on the other side. Yeah, and, and we, we could won't. go around, but yeah. like. No, we would never do that. Yeah. And I mean, I know you're having a lot of mixed feelings about you know James jumping ship on us last time. Yeah, his really early. ability was in question. Yeah, we think he might have lied on his resume, not only about scuba diving but about swimming in general. So after last time, we know that today going in the pond, we need to get the doors open and let the water in so the car doesn't try and float off. That was a major issue with episode two's demise. So we're hoping that by sealing the distributor completely, we'll be able to keep the engine running and we're also going to take our mechanical fan off because it creates a lot of drag for the engine once we get in the water. You know, I'm to the floor, but I can feel a lot of drag. And not only are the tires dragging, but that fan can definitely take away from some of our horsepower. We need all the power we can get to make it across this pond today. We did change the oil and check this out. Bet you didn't know Amazon has their own brand of oil. So I bought some Amazon Basics motor oil for this thing. We're gonna throw it in there and I guarantee she picks up about 50 horse. I'll put a link below if you guys want your own Amazon oil. So what you got there? Keeper? Found it in the yard. Looks like it's been sitting there a while. It's all sun bleached. Yeah, it's a little beat up. I but mean, listen, Phil Swift. Phil Swift, if this thing can float a boat, 
Take they can load a tracker. They can sink a tracker. <laughs> you can dodge a ball. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You see You uh, can flex seal a tracker. Yeah, Cooper is already in here ripping. My old You're just gonna spray the whole distributor down, James. I like it. James here at Flex Seal, and we got some information for you. You got a bogger you like to bog deep? A deep bogger that bogs deepest? We got the fix for you if you ever get stuck. This here is for all projects, cars, boggers, crafts, hobbies, bog deepers, deep boggers, bogging deep. You just take this here and you go ahead and just yeah. coat. You just coat your distributor. Yeah, bro. Make sure you get all sides, angles up, down, left, right, boots, vents, caps, rotors, shafts. And the deep is the boggers. Now your deep boggers bogging deep. Woo! There you nail that. <laughs> God dang. Woo! As seen on TV. Yeah, you know or the deal. YouTube, in our case. Woo! Hey, sir, are you changing the oil? Oh, yeah, sure am. And I'm only using the highest quality Amazon Basics Basic Oil. You know, here at Amazon, we carry everything you need to do your oil change properly. We got the European formula, full synthetic, 5W40, because, you know, sometimes you need that thicker oil for the thicker bog. Woo! And here, we bog deep with our deep boggers. Yes, so we sir. We got only the finest. Amazon basic basic oil. Link below. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon's gonna hire him. Yeah, damn. Geez. All right, guys, we're just about to have our meeting. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that cow said, what's up? Yeah, guys, we're just about to have our meeting with Dale the donkey and uh, just kind of go over everything with bogging deep today. We want to make sure he's good with our plan. Hey, brother, oh, Dale. We've been meaning to tell you we're back for driving underwater episode three. Hey, Dale. Open back there. Yeah. Hey, tell them the story on today's. <laughs> All right, Dale. So yeah, we got to hear about my new product. <laughs> we got some little boggers up here. Coming in kicking. All right, tell them the plan, James. So I got this new product I seen on TV. Now I seen on YouTube Flex Seal, and I done bog deep with my deep bogger bogging deep, and I sprayed everything with it. How do you feel about that? Yeah, we got the distributor sealed all the way this time. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> he won't be going in to bite the dad bod. You got nothing for us today, Dale? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. See you on the other side. Number 31. He, he said good luck out there today, yeah. boys. Any any last words? You don't got nothing to say. Not a word. All right. We'll All see right, you Dale. afterwards. Thanks yeah. for nothing. Why's he got to be so hard on us? Like, we maybe, rolled the tracker. Big deal, man. Yeah, maybe Tuesday's not his day. Gosh, accidents happen. Like, we're going to get it this time, but he is pissed. Damn, dude, the water's down. It looks like we lost about a foot of water. Today might be our day. Yeah, this is a good, the Guffy said good sign so. for us. Yeah. Do you think if it makes it through, we should go to the big pond in the back? Oh, most definitely. That one's like 25 feet in the middle, I think. Most definitely. I think we got this in the bag, though. This is going to be. You want to stick this will be light work. Approach, or do you want to come in? I mean, we could try from the other end, but. That one looks like I feel like we know this spot. Are you trying to one up us or what? Golly! To compete with the Bogger 3000. Dude, there ain't no chance. We're making it across. I'm gonna say fail again, but we'll see. Oh, brother, we got it today. We sealed the hell out of our distributor. I don't know, man. That thing's kind of deep out there. Hey, you did pretty good in the burnout contest. Yeah, it felt pretty good. Only guy to knock down a barrier. So I feel like that's a win for me right there. <laughs> did you forget to turn her off on the drive over? No, you know, sometimes when the batteries are dead, you just gotta let it run. Yeah, you let it run on the way over here? <laughs> it's just easier that way. <laughs> Unload this rig, brother. Man, this thing is small. You couldn't have brought anything bigger? Jesus. Yeah, what is the pond going to do to this thing? That pond ain't stopping this. Look at them tires. It's bigger than the track. Uh, hey, you better watch it. Hey. Back up, buddy. You almost tore my winch clean off. Damn it. Garza, what are you thinking today? You think we're going to make it across? I do think you're going to make it to that water moccasin I just saw. Okay. And after that, uh, I think you'll make it. I think you'll make it. You think the third time's a charm? I do think third time's a charm. All right, Bad Chad, what are you thinking today? I think we should have took the doors off, but I think you got a good chance. Okay, all right, all right. Dalton, what do you think? She's ready to rip, boys and girls. Okay. Hildebrand never has faith. There's, there's, uh, it's all about, it's all about physics, and it's not physically gonna happen. Dude. <laughs> Little wheel backslash. That's some redneck math right there. <laughs> I think the tracker's got a better chance than their truck. How you feel about this, Emilio? Really? 
I mean, I pull up and this is the first thing I see. I'm feeling great. This is a backup vehicle. I'm feeling real He's going to push us through. <laughs> Riding in there? Dude, All right. He yeah. looks ready. I'm ready. All right. Four so you're going to ride with me? I'm riding with you. All right, brother. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. So you got to wear a mask. Yep. And then if anything happens, you got to just climb out the window. If you can't yep. breathe, you got water in your eyes, just get out the window. And if you're scared at any point. Absolutely. I'm going to keep going. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So. Oh, wow. We're all going. Nope. Oh, they're just bogging him. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, ready? Fog date. Attempt number three. Letter E edition. Woo! So, uh, we're going to do it for Dale, all right? Uh, letter E, baby. Woo! We got a lot of people on board right now. Extra ballast. Extra ballast. Oh, we're going to we're gonna make it happen regardless. James, you gonna sit right here on the roof rack? Yep. Right with the lights? Should just take those off. They're pretty useless. All right, hey, one, two, three, bomb! Oh, Letter Letter All right. I think I can really like help it. I mean, I don't weigh much, but you know, I'll throw my weight around. Yeah, yeah. it's really important to try to throw the weight around. They're saying he's gonna throw around his hundred pounds for. Yeah. I was gonna see. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Alright, remember to open your door. My door's open. I'm trying to open a lot or it'll shove it shut. It looks like a sandal's still in here from attempt number one. Oh wow, it finally made it to shore. The sandal. Better than be no gator, it? Oh, there might be. Oh, there's a twisted T in there. He's under. Oh, it's good. No. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> oh, it's. He's cranking it. It's running. I hear it cranking. Do you want to pull it out and try to start it since it's still cranking? Yeah. When you crank it, it, it pushes exhaust. All right. We need a pick him up truck. Grab quick. Damn it, man! I thought that was the one. It was going. It was going good. It was going. Dude, it Damn. sunk and it started like driving and it just was like boom, boom, boom. Dude, I was feathering the clutch and I was wide open on the throttle to try and keep some RPM in it, but it just... I could tell you were wide open. Ah! It was awesome. Didn't that feel oh, this cool? Is so cool. <laughs> in a car. So <laughs> it was so awesome being in the water. Damn, man. It's gotta be the, it's gotta be the, the freaking spark. Yep. It had to go. It's starting. It's trying to run. Yeah, it's like, trying to turn over. Remember how it sounded like that the last time? It's got to, we got to seal like that. It's like it's like it's <laughs> was the one I, I really did think this was the one we were in there and I felt like I could hear the engine purring I was like here we go I thought we covered our bases on this one and we didn't roll it all right we're all getting in here yeah everyone get in the bed 
<laughs> it's all Damn! Over. I thought we had it! I know. Dude, it was, really it was like... Dude, that, breathing like, underwater like that was all Dude, all of a sudden it just cut. That, is that your first time scuba diving? <laughs> yeah, it was so awesome too. I could hear you breathing. I was like, okay, Brent's okay. Yeah, it was uh, good. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> come back we're going through we're getting a new distributor we're gonna do the balloon trick all of it we are making this thing bulletproof and we're coming back <laughs> maybe even this week everything.